but this century, Heian period, 9th, 10th century, Heian showed, the um, lady showed a beautiful long hair. And I said, at least 12 layers. Can you see the color combination? Here, different color. And the, here, again, long sleeves and different color. And in those days, ladies were not allowed to show the face all the time behind the screen. How people communicate ladies? They can't see her face, but behind the screen, and people can read poetry to her. Five, seven, five, seven, seven, syllable waka. Haiku is quite new, 17th century. Haiku poetry is five, seven, five syllable. And waka is older. So somebody read her five, seven, five syllable, and she returned seven, seven syllable. So in those days, ladies have to be intelligent. How she can express her feeling in a very short poetry, emotion, what she wants to say. And also, beautiful hair. They can see the end of the hair and also color combination. The day before, she chose her color combination and what kind of color they, she chose. That expressed her mood, feeling, and also smell, incense. Each lady has her own incense in those days. So, her own banner and put at least 12 layers of beautiful silk, and next day she wears that kind of, this kind of kimono. Still now in Japan, tomorrow I will show 15th century tea ceremony, tomorrow from 3 o'clock. And when I go back to Japan, my perfect day is in the morning we do incense ceremony. That's from 10th century. Those ladies' time. And incense, we pass around the incense. Every time we mix a different smell and pass around, then we guess which lady's smell. So that's lovely incense ceremony. Then to the room, then nice lunch. That's kaiseki. Kaiseki, seven course, small, beautiful dishes. In Japan, we just don't eat. We appreciate the beauty of the food and the season. So lovely lunch like this, then move the room, then tea ceremony. Because tea ceremony, we eat sweets, then drink tea. So all the things still people enjoy in Japan, traditional. And manga, anime, new culture, kawaii culture, but it's all connected. When you go to Japan, you will see tradition and modern high technology. Recently, robot cleaned the house, <laughs> so, very nice. <laughs> so now you see this is the uh, Heian period and hair decoration. Sometimes they use silk and sometimes they use paper. And saying, in those days, this kind of clothes, Juni Kitoe, we call and can you see the makeup? Again, changed uh, from the Tom Dynasty's makeup. Can you see her eyebrow is up? And real eyebrow, they all shave. And here, if they put up, how many people do you know still now bestseller, Tale of Genji? That's in Japan, Prince Genji's story. Like here, Bible, but still in Japan, bestseller, Tale of Genji. And Genji, a lot of mistresses, and he's got four gardens, and each garden he's got different uh, lover, and he has a real wife, but his lifestyle is like this. Yes, I read the tale of Genji uh, from two different people's interpretation, and it's so, for example, women's jealous. You can imagine, tale of Genji, Prince Genji got a lot of mistresses. Four different gardens, different mistress live, and another women are there too. So the tale of Genji, beautiful story, but a lot of jealousy, and some women die because of jealousy. And this makeup is connected because if you shave the eyebrow, and if you put thick eyebrow here, that means she shouldn't express her feeling, no expression. So in those days, their makeup is connected, their lifestyle. And this one is servant for those ladies. You can see 
this happen, kimono legs is shorter, faster, and can walk and carry the things for the lady. So this is the lady servant uh, kimono, and hair is shorter than the lady. Very practical. And you can see white one, back of the hair, that's paper, white paper. And when you see the kimono, now check the legs of the sleeve. Still, sleeve is wider than this normal kimono. And color, layers. And really, they don't show the body shape. And this one, in those days, now, ladies can go out and walk and travel. And this is a traveling <coughs> costume in um, Heian period and Kamakura period. Kamakura period, do you remember, samurai, one. So ladies' costume became like this, and ladies can travel far. And uh, this hat, I have exactly the same hat, and this year I went to Royal Ascot <coughs> wearing kimono and this hat. Luckily, I was in the newspaper, and uh, this one, why? Then they, because when they did travel, they don't want to show the face. And also, mosquito and insect, they want to uh, cover up the face, avoiding the mosquito and insect. And she has a stick. I have my martial arts here. When I wear kimono, I can have fun here. And I normally I don't carry martial arts fun. Another fun, there's a metal here instead of bamboo. And at least I can do self-defense using iron pump to put the weak point of joint jab. And this stick is martial arts. My daughter pra practiced sword and this kind of stick. Once she got this place of stick, very strong. Can do self-defense very well. And that stick, traveling stick, and can you see the red one? And the red cloth came from temple and supposed to uh, protect the lady. And here, it's like necklace, but actually this is like a saving charm from the temple, something important. So this is traveling costume. 11th century, this one. And 12th century. Same traveling costume. And uh, you can see from the side, Again, going out, it's like coat, but another kimono from the head, head. And still, the sleeves are wider and longer. And servant, lady servant, and she carries the luggage. And traditionally, when you wear kimono, we can carry several important things here, like money, or, and also here, paper, and here, several things we can carry. <laughs> so, name card, and handkerchief. <laughs> so, traditionally, when we have big something, carrying like this, this elegant style wearing the kimono, not Western handbag, this way. And uh, still sleeves, long and wide. Yes, beautiful color combination, the outfit. And having that carriage, she's a servant as well. And another servant, and her kimono is different. This, from here, different, it's called hatama. And if you see nowadays Japanese martial arts, like kendo, iaido, the formal uniform of martial arts is like this style, hatama style. So, Japanese modern Jap martial arts formal uniform is like this. And in those days, 11th, 12th century, ladies, have a costume. She is selling fish. And this chair style came from Southeast Asia.
and this one, she's uh, selling something in the market. Again, no showing body shape. Just enjoy the pattern and color of the kimono. And she is selling cotton. So her kimono, the pattern of cotton. Not silk, she's selling cotton. So now, a little gold you can see. And she, can you, so from here, please check how Obi is. Because this belt is uh, not so wide. Think. And also a little gold now. Kurotomi Hideyoshi and Oda Nobunaga, 14th century, they did trading China Ming Dynasty. And Ming Dynasty trading and in Japan in those days they like gold. So if you go to Kyoto, there's a golden pavilion, Kinkakuji. And King Kakuji is made with gold, even wall and ceiling. Everything is gold. So in those days, famous kimono, they used a lot of gold, especially for people's wife and daughter. And uh, how to wear kimono? No body shape, and now you can't see Obi well. Obi is belt. And this one, the pattern is different top and from here, but actually one kimono. And uh, you can see Obi, she tied back a very thin Obi, not like a uh, thick Obi. This, this one, a uh, servant. And Short kimono. And you can see the parade. In Japan, every spring in Kyoto, we have parade from third century to nowadays costume parade. It's very, very good because we can um, preserve the technique and also people can learn how kimono has changed. Kyoto is a very beautiful um, old capital, AD 794. From 794, I recommend you to go to Kyoto for a long time, about 300 years, capital. Before Kyoto, Nara was capital from 710 AD. <coughs> right, now he is a she is a courtesan. Now we move to Edo period. Edo period starts in our AD 16. No Japanese were out. Then this Fumie, all over Japan, Jesus Christ face, and if they cannot step, you are killed. So, Nagasaki, that area, there are many, many Christianity, because Nagasaki is near the sea, and also um, Christianity is for people are there. So, this Edo period, government made class system and closed the country. What kind of class system? What kind of class system they did? Four classes. Of course, shogun and emperor. Then top samurai, warrior. They can carry sword. Next, farmer with huge land. Artisan, merchant. Shino kosho. Merchants are the bottom of the class. Even they are wealthy. And in those days, they made class system and dress code. So when I did the lecture in Victoria and Albert Museum, <coughs> including hairstyle, government made and ruled this class wife, daughter, this class wife, daughter, hairstyle, and kimono dress code was decided. So this one is called a after the battle of 1600, Edo period, from after this battle we call Edo period. Edo is the old name of Tokyo. So capital, 
the Edo, the capital was Kyoto, but Edo was the center of Japan in those days. And see that how gorgeous kimono. And she is a servant for the lady courtesan. And this hairstyle shows she's a girl, not a dark hair. And now you notice the sleeves are shorter and also belt changed now from time. And in those days, dancing style, dancing people, and hairstyle. Do you remember 10th century ladies' long hair compared to that hair up? And also, Obi is in front. Another courtesan. And check her hairstyle, a little complicated. So now this is the starting time. The hairstyle will become complicated. And Obi, Dina. And this is uh, the 17th century dancing style in Kyoto and uh, hairstyle putting decoration here and also um, do you notice she wear two different kimono one kimono and another one and strip off one shoulder that's why I showed two different kind of kimono and Obi Change now here. Yeah. And this one is um, the mother. And from that this time, the, when the government uh, decided that blue, if you see ladies' costume, you can tell married or single. Western people wear wedding ring, but <coughs> even now, modern Japan, if you see ladies' costume, you can tell she is single or married because of the length of the sleeves. Single ladies' kimono's sleeve is very, very long, and married ladies' kimono's sleeve short. If you see the costume and hairstyle, as I said, class, married, or single, you can tell. And yes, married lady, and uh, some people, the hand is passing. And now, Obi becomes a little wider. And hairstyle is complicated. That's some people's mother's hairstyle. You can see very complicated hairstyle. And <laughs> merchants, they are the bottom of the class, but they are wealthy and do the complicated hairstyle needs money. So merchant wife and daughter got a lot of complicated hairstyles because they have to go to special beauty place to make complicated hairstyle. And Western clothes you wear earring and necklace, but kimono blue, of course. Earring and necklace came from Western country. When in Japan, when we want to show our jewelry, we hair up and put the jewelry here, like geisha. Their hair up and beautiful decoration. This is married lady and the town people. If you see the back. Now, we live in 21st century, and this one, 17th century in Japan, and very similar. Just the length longer, and still now some people wear this style of obi. So, hasn't changed yet, this style. And can you see um, the pattern? This is very, very simple. And pattern, one, two, three, four, five. There are five patterns, and this is important as 
very wide and uh, this is um, 17th century and she has Uchiwa, this is sense, fan, and Uchiwa is that shape. Do you remember from Tong Dynasty? That's the same shape. And this is casual.
you see the Sabbath costume, you could tell which family she was for. And again, this is the Sabbath. Do you remember when we were the kimono, Kuroshiki, having this, carrying this guy, is better. This is a kind of etiquette how to carry something. And notice, Kuroshiki is wrapping, wrapping cloth, and even the wrapping cloth, they would take the family mark. I'm working for this family. So you can see which family she works for. And servant, hairstyle. This servant hairstyle, um, check next one. And also servant, uh, Obi, not is beautiful. High class uh, family she works. So you can tell what kind of Obi knot she wear. There are over 100 different of knot. And she is my lady for samurai. Samurai warrior's wife, they are allowed to carry sword. And you can see the black short sword here. And hairstyle, that's samurai's wife's hairstyle. And married, that's why sweet is short. And no eyebrow. And samurai daughter, long sleeves. And you can see she carrying so here. And here people carry pups or paper. Tomorrow when you come to see ceremony, I will put paper here because the guest. When you are invited to tea ceremony, you must wear kimono because 15th century people wear kimono. And if you see ladies' costume, who is the guest? Who is the tea maker? You can tell because of what she wears and what she has.
dress, nobody clothes, even if there's no car, because follow the rule, still from this. <laughs> servant for the town people, the uh, merchant. Yeah, very simple and uh, plain. And this is the end point. So, um, I have another 10 minutes. And kimono and face, is there any question? Because tomorrow I do Shinto, that's belief, Japanese belief, and uh, three o'clock tea ceremony. But here, I'm here, and we live in a modern society. So, I showed the history of kimono, but I noticed the people who like anime and manga, because I'm a guest speaker in UK, then Poland, Norway, America, Canada, I've been to many, many anime conventions, and also I'm a teacher, Japanese language teacher, GCSE, A-level, in London, and I noticed a lot of anime and manga fans, they are intelligent, polite, also they appreciate art. So there are category, they like Japanese anime, manga, culture. So it's very, very nice, you know, and you are here, you're interested in Japanese culture. Yes, please tell me what kind of things you like. And because I just did history, but a lot of things, our lifestyle, we have the rule and custom. For example, mm, I'm a mother and my daughter she, when she goes to school, she says, Itekimasu now. Tada, I'm here. Then I say, Okaeri nasai. Okaeri is return. And welcome home. And that kind of things are very important. For example, when she comes home, I just hear, Tadaima, or Tadaima. <laughs> <laughs> so I just guess, oh, maybe she had a bad day, or oh, she has a good day, or something like that. So I can care how she's fine or maybe she has something. So that kind of world family really care each other and that kind of things. And also in school, before the lesson, all the students and teacher show the respect bow. Then sit down. And the end of the lesson, show the respect. So that's part of our life. Because showing it in the respect, that means I respect you. That means this one respects this one person as well, polite each other. And we must live like that because we live in a very, very small island. Tokyo is very crowded. So also this kind of tsunami and earthquake, over 20,000 people dying on the 11th of March. Somebody lost some people, important people. So we really don't want to disturb those people. And also those people who got a very, very sad life, they don't show the emotion because once they show the emotion, that disturbed our people, disturbed our pe other people. So after tsunami, maybe you see the television, everybody make a cue and quiet, don't shout, don't panic, because everybody know in Japan, if something happens, don't panic. If you panic, disturb other people. So just put up with that and quiet and care other people's feelings. So you are here, think about other people's past other people's feelings. So if you come to bread train, there's an announcement, please don't use mobile phone. It disturbs other people. So use that mobile phone between the carriage. Then nobody can hear. That kind of mentality is a part of our culture. So, an anime and manga, I probably include tomorrow like Japanese spirits, like Naruto. In London, a lot of my students like Naruto. 15 years old boys and girls, they want to study Japanese because of anime and manga. And uh, I wanted to, I to tell my students, yes, Naruto, very good. He's got a good spirit. Why? Never give up. And in Japan, we have a proverb, Nanakoro ni yaoki. Nana means seven. Ya means eight. If you fail seven times, get that eight times. Never give up. That's Naruto, part of our culture. And also, we have a proverb, similar um, thing. Except I teach Bushido. How many people do you know the word Bushido? Bushido is 
the way of warrior, how to think. And in Japan, if especially boy or man, talk a lot. And mother said, hmm, you came from samurai family. If you have a time to talk, do action and show us. That's the way of life. All sorts of things we don't have textbook like Bible. But if you have something, sad things or hard things, again, okay, you got the bad things. But you have to try to conquer this. This is your honor and this is your duty. And all sorts of things are part of our mm, culture. My parents arrange marriage. And my mother and father side, they decided, okay, similar family and relatives uh, introduced them, then married. And my parents' case, I didn't get married. So their marriage is like duty. Do your best as a mother, as a father, as a husband, as a wife. So never thought about divorce because they are arranged and they do just duty. So that's a part of our culture. Nowadays, still, some people do arrange their marriage in Japan. And I believe I think three minutes because I was so a little earlier. Is there any question before tomorrow? I do another lecture at 10 o'clock, she talks, 3 o'clock, please tell me. Nothing more is your end. Hi. The memoirs of the geisha, how much of that is actually accurate? Is it ah, well done. Memoir of the geisha, I read books and I watched, I saw the movie. And yes, um, they got a specialist from Japan, geisha's um, dance and costume, accurate. Well done. Very good. Do you think the actresses did a good, good job? Actresses, yeah, Chinese show. There's a problem in China and in Japan. In China, they are not happy how they are treated, and memory geisha was a kind of bum. And in Japan, Japanese people are a bit not happy, so it's because of um, actress and all sorts of things. But costume, Fine. <laughs> Fine. 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 Like your country, England, you live in an island and you had a battle, France. So, Japan, Ireland, and battle, China. So, and Korea was Japanese colony. So, a lot of conflict still now. But very good. And somebody hand it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Thank you.